Physics can be dangerous. We're not always solving equations for x. Sometimes we solve them for oops. Oops. The world learned this the hard way with the development of the atomic bomb. Now NATO and several physicists too are saying that we need safety rules for quantum technologies because they can be dangerous. Really? Yes, really. And they do have a point. Earlier this year, NATO put forward a quantum technology strategy, according to which quantum technologies have potentially revolutionary and disruptive implications, which can degrade the alliance's ability to deter and defend. Quantum technologies are therefore an element of strategic competition. They say that NATO needs to become a quantum-ready alliance. One of the desirable outcomes, they say, is that allies have cooperated in the development development of quantum technologies with a view to maintain NATO's technological edge and allies' abilities in the field. A few months later, new scientists reported that multiple nations, including the UK, France and Canada, have suddenly introduced almost identical export restrictions on quantum computers that have more than 34 qubits. I'm sure this is a complete coincidence. This development upsets some researchers because they see it as a hindrance to research. There is no calculation you can do with a 34 qubit quantum computer that couldn't be done better, cheaper and more easily otherwise. But one can speculate that the reason for the export restriction might be to limit the spread of technology before it can be used for evil purposes. And yes, there are such evil purposes. The most discussed risk for quantum computers is that they'd be used to crack cryptographic protocols, which have been used to secure national secrets for decades. So if any nation spied on another and pocketed encoded files, these might suddenly become readable. But this isn't the only reason NATO might worry. There are other ways quantum technologies can be abused. For example, one of the potential applications of quantum computers that has attracted the most interest is calculating the properties of molecules without having to synthesize them. This could become extremely useful for material design or drug development, but it could also become useful for the development of better chemical or biological weapons. It's not just quantum computers that might be useful in this, also various technologies for quantum sensing that make it easier to measure the properties of such materials. Then there is the idea of a quantum radar that enhances the effectiveness of radar by using entangled light. You can see how militaries might get worried if someone has a better radar than they have. Then there is the quantum compass that's a supersensitive accelerometer, so it measures acceleration. This is useful because if you know exactly how much you accelerated and for how long, you can calculate your exact path. And if you know the starting point, this means you can calculate your exact position entirely without GPS. So this gives you protection if the enemy is trying to jam your systems. The British Navy has been testing such a device. And then there's the general issue of getting an edge in certain computations like military logistics. In a recent commentary in Nature, a group of scientists drew attention to the security problem for quantum tech. They write about what you expect for a nature comment, something about developing ethical governance and uh, multilateral collaboration and oversight and ensuring that securitization is justified and balanced because if there's one thing we all trust to keep things under control, it's committees. So what are we to make of this? Is this a real threat? When it comes to technology that's relevant to the military, there's always the question of how much information they're sitting on that we don't have. I'm pretty confident that quantum computers aren't anywhere near practical applications. I say this because there are probably hundreds of labs all over the world working on it, and it's highly unlikely that the military of any country would do better than all of them combined. That said, I'm not so sure about other technologies that haven't been widely explored. The thing with the quantum radar strikes me as a case where quantum effects will give you a very small advantage for a lot of effort, and while that's possible, it won't make much sense in practice. The quantum compass is a real thing, and I actually think it might be one of the best applications of quantum tech yet. I'm somewhat surprised, honestly, there isn't more work on this. 
Maybe someone just needs to market it as the Quantum Pathfinder Pro Max. So I think we shouldn't just brush off worries that quantum tech might be used for unethical purposes. However, at the moment, quantum tech is so impractical to use and so expensive that there are few actors in the game. And in any case, the world has better things to worry about, like what video to watch next. So don't forget to subscribe and let me know in the comments what you want me to talk about. Do you know the joke about the two guys running from a bear? Do you really think we'll outrun the bear, says one of them. And the other one says, I don't have to outrun the bear. I just have to outrun you. That's how I think about internet safety. I don't have to outsmart hackers. I just have to be a little more difficult target than most of you. And that's why I use NordVPN. NordVPN is an app that you install on your phone or laptop. It provides a secure and private connection for your internet browsing. And it comes with a threat protection that keeps you safe from malware, trackers and malicious ads. It's super convenient because it allows you to pick your location. You see, NordVPN has more than 5,000 servers all over the world and you can choose one. This allows you to access websites in other countries by using a server located there. I find this especially convenient to get around all the blockages on US pages for visitors from the European Union. If you use our custom link nordvpn.com slash Sabine or the coupon code Sabine, you'll get a better deal and I can really recommend it. I found NordVPN VPN super easy to use. It installs with just a few clicks and hasn't caused me any trouble. You can combine it with a password keeper called NordPass and a secure platform to store and share files called NordLocker. If you get them all together, you'll get a better price and they all have a 30 day money back guarantee. To make use of our special offer, go to nordvpn.com Sabine or use the coupon code Sabine. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.